okay so students i am here with the new videos video which is about uh, all the programs which is being offered by school of management and labor studies mumbai campus tes tata institute of social sciences so as you can see uh, on their website that there are five courses listed and the first is like a very famous one among the students which is ma in hr and lr what we usually call it uh you know about this program that eligibility criteria is uh, any graduate can apply for this program but since the industry affinity is very high and you get a very high placement from here which is which was near 24 lakh average placement was there with this program so the number of students applying for this program is very high and that's why the cut off is so <clears throat> while applying for this program you can be very uh, sure you first you need to be very sure that whether you are coming with that much of marks or not or whether you will be able to prepare for the uh, exam in that way or not the second uh, i'll talk about the similar course first the second program that i would like to discuss is master of arts in organizational development change and leadership in short we call it odcl so this program is like super specialization of hr here we try to deal with the development constraints that on our horizon has in term of people and uh, the change the how to cope up with the change how to cope up with the external change and of course the leadership capability development among across the employee across the organization on the employee among all the employee across all the across the organization so this particular course is very important for current uh, business situation which is uh, very dynamic and and dealing with a number of natural and economic disaster so the minimum requirement for this course is like you need to be graduate as well as you also should have you should have two year of work ex as an corporate employee or even as an entrepreneurial experience also so for this program if you are entrepreneur and you have a listed company you're not listed but you have registered company or even if you have registered the gst and have worked for 2 year you can apply for this course and the cut off for this course is like almost equal to hr only few marks less than hr because again the placement figure for this course is also very high and it was around hr or similar to hr only this year so the number of seats i'll be telling you about uh, for hr it is 68 for odcl it is 45 okay so now let's go for the other famous program among the student which is analytics and before telling about this program i'll tell this is the only analytics program in india which offers this pg level course for every student even if you don't have uh, the background of mathematics at your plus 2 level but but again uh, i'll also suggest if you want to go for analytics make sure that you have some knack of understanding mathematics and numbers and uh, dealing with data so this program you, you should not get confused with uh, mb analytics this is not mb analytics this is ma analytics and the programs will cover use of data data analytics data sciences across all the uh, discipline uh, not in business not only in business but also in healthcare policy making and government uh, services also so this program the master of analytics master of science analytics and otcl these two programs are self financed and uh, that means you will be you will have to pay higher fee than regular courses in tes and the cost of the program will be around 10 lakh Uh, for two years in both cases, and of course all other program which are mentioned here, uh, it will cost you around two point five lakh for two years. So these are two self self finance program, but still you can pursue it because the placement starts for these two program is also very high. So the next program which I will be discussing with you is labor studies and practices. so i have been um, listening that many students are confused that sir this program is very close to hr program because we are also studying labor here but just to tell you that the the labor that we are studying here is uh, from informal sector or unorganized sector and they have clearly mentioned but we'll go to a few details about this program they have clearly mentioned that this program is not a management program 
uh, that means you will not be learning about HR processes or compensation uh, techniques or hiring or selection processes or the organizational development. Rather, you will be studying about uh, the pain or the uh, problems of uh, people who are working in informal sectors or they are not having a, a, a regular employment. So, so why this course is important because with the globalization and with uh, development of gig economy, uh, number of people who are working uh, uncommissioned or you can say not, uh, not who, are, who don't have regular employment in any company are on rise. So, so understanding their rights or, or, or what they miss with this kind of job that they cannot or they, they are not able to train themselves for the higher position. So by doing this course, you will be able to understand their problems, you will be able to create solutions for their problem, you will be able to suggest policy to the government or in some way you can work with the trade unions or other employment uh, benefit based organizations. So earlier this program was called Globalization Labor. If you go to the uh, detail of this program, the address bar will still show Globalization Labor, but the name of this program is now Labor Studies and Practice. And you should not get confused with the program which is there in uh, TIS Guwahati. Uh, the TIS Guwahati has similar program which is called Labor Studies and Social Practices, Social Protection. So it is labor studies and practice and that program is labor studies and social protection. So that program has a different agenda or one additional agenda which is to provide social security to the employee by different uh, means or by different policies. So the last program, now I'll come back to the school of management. The last program that the school of management is offering, not the last program, I'm uh, discussing this is last, that's why I'm calling it the last program. This is MA in Social Entrepreneurship. This program will also try to build or, or try to make you capable to think independently about any problem which exists in society and how to solve that problem, how to make a business out of it, how to create a product or service which actually cater to the customer and also come up with any kind of benefits to the society. So, this is an inclusive program for the new business and, and, and business which is not existing. So, so you know that management, uh, managing a established organization or managing, an, an, managing a new organization is very two, two different thing. So here you will be uh, learning how to deal with the resource crunch, how to deal with the pressure, how to sell a product when there is no market available and how to brand a new product. So all these things that you will be learning here, this is a very beautiful, a very good course, you will be learning a lot. Earlier they used to have of uh, some fixed amount of money to give all the students to start their enterprise. But now uh, you also seek or people also seek uh, placements to the organization where entrepreneurial role, you, know, you can say intrapreneurial roles are available. So the so number of seats for this program is 34. So all these programs which is being offered by School of Management, people think that uh, if they will be very close to HR, the chances of placement will be high. It's not like that. All these programs has their own objective agenda. And the, for, the, for the part of placement, I'll say any program which has uh, uh, industry utility, their placement, their placement figures may be little higher than the, the program which doesn't have direct uh, utility in industry. So all these programs are from the School of Management. You can study the, about their, their structure and the course details by uh, clicking these links and uh, select your uh, preference or you can prioritize your preference. Okay, thank you.